Uh, hey guys, I'm back again, uh, working some more on uh, setup. Um, I took all the goodies off the top of the box. There was 10 little boxes all together, and I started opening the crates. Top one is the uh, drip tray. So that looks like the widest box, which makes sense. Um, so there's still two more under, two more under there. That's got to be the table and or i mean the stand and the, the mill and i'll show you what all the boxes are so there was 10 of these boxes all together this nice tormac one uh it's got a binder in there all the operator manual looks very nice um there is the um the free subscription year for fusion there's a sticker and then the cable that looks like to connect the computer to the controller. Uh, and then box number two was the monitor. Then the PathPilot computer. Various cables. Um, let's see. The next box has. Looks like. Boxes of drill bits and milling bits. Yeah, it's probably like the startup package. Uh, then there was the I think I, I think I already actually had this one already, but it's the clamping set. I mostly just use a vise or fixtures, so I don't know if I'll actually need that, but that came with it. Uh, the next box was the. Tormac Vice. This sucker's pretty heavy. For its size, I think that'll be just fine. Next box is... Um, looks like a little... Oh, these are like machiner starter tools. Little guides and various things in there. Oh, there's a lot of little boxes in there. Okay, I'll have to go through that more. This looks like all the TTS tooling set. Uh, looks like the holder, some collets. Yeah, Tormac, TTS. Okay. This looks like computer stuff. There's the keyboard overlay, keyboard. That's got to be that jog, jog tool. And this one's got uh, whey oil, and I assume this would be coolant. Coolant. So, oh, they did mention when they shipped mine that the, uh, what is it, the uh, flood coolant thing uh, didn't come with mine. It was not ready to ship. So they said they're going to send that shortly. So I don't, well, I probably won't have it together before I need that anyway. Uh, so next I'm going to finish taking apart this crate. All right, I pulled out the drip tray put it there open the next box and it looks like it is the stand which makes sense so probably the one under that's going to be the enclosure that would be that'd be my guess so let's see all right i took out all the components for the stand uh, the metal support bars are quite substantial the side panels feel a little flimsy i think i understand what the other people said who'd made videos the the topmost panel though that's a much thicker gauge it, it, that was that was pretty heavy the rest is you know lighter gauge the doors so there's instructions big bag of bolts i think those are some kind of oh those must be the handles for the, the door those two boxes instructions so at least i got something easy to start with i can i can work on building this and I opened that last box on top of the crate, and that's the enclosure. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build the stand first, and then then, then take the rest of the stuff apart, because you know, at least I know how to start with this. So I'll, uh, I'll do another video after I get this part done. Thanks, guys. Bye.